what is there is a palace causes symptoms and treatment interesting about science and medicine prepared by the sort of a page all scientific erysipelasis an acute inflammation of all layers of a skin caused by hemolytic streptococcus which penetrates the skin through microtrauma How does hemolytic streptococcus penetrate the skin with Eraser Plus? Through microtrauma, scratching, abrasion, st sting with bone fish, purulent wounds, acute and chronic ulcers. What area of the body other than the skin can be affected by erysipelas? Erysipelas affects not only the skin but also the mucous membranes of the lips, mouth and nose. In the pathogenesis of a disease, an important role is played by the allergic mood of a body, sensation to streptococcus. This circumstance is associated with the propensity of a disease to frequent relapse. But this is contagious in it is transmitted by contact. In the pre-antiseptic period, intra-hospital infection of erysipelas were often observed. In our time, nosocomial infection of erysipelas can occur only with gross illusion of asepsis. General sign of erysipelas Usually the disease begins with prodromal period when the general symptoms of the disease come to the fore and local manifestations are not expressed or are absent at all. An increase in body temperature to 39-40, malaise, headache, nausea, vomit. Local symptoms of erysipelas after that within 1-2 days local symptoms appear which gave a name to the disease. Erysipelas is Greek for red skin. Indeed, the most common form of the pellets is characterized by pronounced redness of the affected area of the skin. Forms of the pellets. This form of the pellets is the main form of a disease, against which the following free form can occur. Blows when vesicles with zero or serous purulent contents appear on the surface of erythema. Phlegmonose, characterized by development of phlegmon on the subcutaneous tissue. Gangrenose, the most severe form of erysipelas in which necrosis of the skin and sometimes subcutaneous tissue occurs. According to clinical course, three forms of erysipelas are distinguished. Acute, fulminant, lightning fast, and recurrent. Why is the lightning fast form of erysipelas dangerous? The lightning fast form of erysipelas, as a rule, is in death. Only immediate hospitalization and timely treatment, including surgery, after amputation of an affected limb, give any chance of saving the patient. How is erysipelas treated? All patients with erysipelas are subject to hospitalization in the surgical department. Patients with erythematosis erysipelas are often treated in the infection disease department. However, this depends on the settings developed by the surgeon and infection disease specialist. Home treatment can be carried out only in patients with erythematous erysipelas, delimited and without severe intoxication. The doctor should examine such patients two times a day, so as not to miss possible complications.
What does the pathogenic therapy of Rizapellus consist of? Pathogenetic therapy of Rizapellus consists of mandatory use of antibiotics, desensitizing therapy, anti-allergic, physiotherapy. What antibiotics are used in the treatment of Rizapellus? All of the antibiotics preferences given to the penicillin group. It should be noted that streptococci, as a rule, do not develop resistance to this group. It is better to administer the benzopenicillin or synthetic penicillin, ampenicillin, methicillin, oxacillin. Local treatment of Rizapellus. Local treatment consists in carrying out ultraviolet irradiation. An erythemal dose is given, which is repeated every other day. After the disappearance of acute phenomena, the appearance of pronounced peeling of the skin with the normalization of the body temperature, ultra-high frequency therapy is prescribed. The imposition of any ointment dressing should be recognized as harmful. What remedy do not help with erysipelas? The use of wet drying dressing with alcohol, dioxidine and other antiseptics is unlikely to give a positive effect. To prevent the spread of erysipelas to healthy area of the skin, some recommend edging the affected area with a 5-10% alcohol solution of iodine, a method recommended by Pirago. Complication of erysipelas. The most dangerous form of erysipelas gangrenosis usually develops in people with weakened immunological protection or with a pronounced allergic background. What category, category of people are most often prone to complication with erysipelas? This person primarily includes diabetics suffering from oncological disease, blood disease. Allergical diseases, for example, high fever, people who have this disease, several diseases, pneumonia, influenza, several surgical intervention, childbirth in the past, recent past, suffering from various substance abuse, alcoholics, multi smokers. How can erysipelas become complicated? All types of erysipelas can be complicated by regional lymphadenitis, abscesses and phlegmos of a succotonous tissue purulent arthritis, sepsis. Relapses in erysipelas. The base of a recurrent course of erysipelas are allergy and associated sensitization of the body. At the same time, it is not the invasion of the microbe that come to the fore as the cause of relapse, but the characteristic of a patient immunity. Therefore, the treatment of erysipelas is always supplemented by measures aimed on the one hand at reducing the allergization of the body and the other, and the other and changing the characteristic of the immunity. Are there serum and vaccination for erysipelas? Various serum vaccines have been proposed, but so far it has not always been possible to achieve good results in the treatment of recurrent erysipelas. The main causes of relapse in erysipelas. Often the cause of recurrence is very simple, for example, anotized fungal skin lesions, pregnant minor injuries, abrasions, What is dangerous recurrent form of erysipelas? The recurrent form of erysipelas not only disturb the patient's ability to work during exacerbation, it is dangerous for the development of lymphatizes of the limbs due to obliteration of the lymphatic vessels of the skin and succotonous tissue. The developing deformity of the limb is currently almost intractable. What measures can a doctor prescribe for those suffering from a recurrent form of erysipelas? 
patients suffering from a recurrent form of rhizopelas or who have undergone the acute rhizopelas, the doctor should take to a dispensary. In the dispensary observation card, it is imperative to note the time of relapse, since usually a new exacerbation is associated in each patient with a certain time of a year. It should be analyzed that where the patient was going, doing at the, that time, high harvesting, working on Bernard. The patient should be consulted with a surgeon. The presence of a doctor during such consultation is mandatory. To get with surgeon, anti-relapse treatment is prescribed, which usually consists of desensitization and sometimes preventive antibiotic therapy. Causes of erysipeloid pork erysipelas. Erysipeloid or pig erysipelas usually develop on the fingers and hands of a person who have received minor injuries. Stings with bones, sting with the lid of a cans, sting with instruments. With cutting pork and fish, for workers in the meat and fish industry, erysipeloid is an occupational disease. What occupation are most at risk for swine erysipelas? Cooks at file meals. Cooks, housewife, workers in meat and fish industry. What bacterium causes swine erysipelas? Erysipeloid. The disease is caused by a specific microbe. <coughs> the swine erysipelas, bacillus. <coughs> Erysipelotrix, russiopathia. Symptoms of the swine erysipelas, erysipeloid. Usually the disease begins one free day after a minor injury, so its cause often remains unknown to the patient. In shell a dark red it is spot a pass at the injection site, the skin swells slightly, thickens, movement in the joints and the fingers are difficult. On the third, fourth day of a disease, skin hyperemia disperses, only some thickening is noted. In the most cases, it is a period heals spontaneously on the 20, 14 days, but relapses are often observed, and in some patients, the disease takes a chronic course. Treatment of erysipeloid, swine erysipelas. Outpatient treatment consists of antibiotic therapy, usually tableted tetracyclines, stopping works for several days, immobilization of a hand with a cardboard tire with a roller under half bent fingers, the hand is hung on a scarf, UV radiation or UHF therapy is of great benefit, in chronic and recurrent form X-ray therapy, Suspension from work in public catering establishment. Thank you for your attention. This material was prepared with a basal material from the page All Scientific. Attention, this video is provided for information proposals only. When observing very unusual symptoms, it is recommended to consult a doctor. Subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Bye bye.